What is up you guys? How's it going? Welcome to another episode. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is John. It's kind of a gloomy day today, but currently I'm headed over to Kia in downtown Los Angeles. So I have about 17 minutes on the road. I have to take this car because it had a recall on a couple of small, very minor issues that they're going to be assessing and then hopefully fixing. Uh, but we're going to explore around while we're waiting over there. It shouldn't take more than one hour, one and a half hours tops, perhaps, or at least I'm hoping. Uh, but stick around. It's going to be a beautiful day. Okay, folks, welcome back once again. I got myself a cup of Dunkin' and I'm currently headed over to downtown Los Angeles right now. My Kia has a few minor issues that were actually recalled for. I'm gonna be taking this car for them to assess with those minor recall issues and then hopefully address and resolve if there are any. But in the meantime, I'm thinking perhaps we explore that area a little bit. I haven't really dove into that and took photos there much. You know, the only time I've been there that I actually shared on this vlog was back when my friend Sezgin Yilmaz joined us for a small tour in that area. And I'm actually gonna be posting that video up here, the tag for you to go take a look at. We've actually been to some of the most iconic and frankly touristic spots in downtown Los Angeles together and shot some photos there. So go ahead and take a look at that. While we're on the road to downtown Los Angeles, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please show your support by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and throwing a comment or two as I would really love to connect with each and every one of you and get a better understanding of what your interests are from this channel. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get back to the video. Moments later. One thing I am wondering though, that interestingly enough, I spotted this morning a very big discrepancy between some of my neighborhood gas stations versus some other gas station that I ran into in Santa Monica. Uh, the gas stations in my neighborhood were charging 479 per gallon for like the 87. Um, whereas this gas station on Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica has been charging 699 for three to four months straight. So I'm not quite sure if there's a gas price gouging that's happening over here or if it's just free market this is whatever you price it at, take it or leave it type of situation. Uh, but definitely comment down below and help me better understand, is there price gouging happening there or is this just fair market, capitalism, this is what I price it at, take it or leave it type situation. A little later. Okay folks, just got off the highway, about to turn over on my left and we'll see Kia downtown Los Angeles. Let's see if there's anything worth for the recall for them to resolve. I hope there's nothing so that I spend as little time here as possible. But in the meantime, we're gonna go explore the neighborhood a little bit and see if there's any photo-worthy opportunities out there for us. Worst case, we'll go to a cafe and hang out. So I just dropped off the car. The Kia personnel there told me that it may take all the way up to three to four hours based on how complicated the recall might be or if they're short in product, if they need to replace something. Uh, but she was telling me that, you know, they're gonna inspect it first to see if the recall is actually needed for this or not. Because if it's intact, then they're not gonna have to fix anything. Um, so fingers crossed that they don't have to fix anything, that everything's intact as it should be. So I'm walking down the street, shooting photos and videos of these beautiful murals by my side. And I run into this gentleman, his name is Musa. He looked at me and he goes, you know, can you take a photo of me? Um, so I shot a few headshots of him. He's an artist himself and a clothing designer. I'm gonna put his Instagram right here for you guys to check out. Seems like a really cool and creative dude. Um, but this is it, man. Like you run into so many amazing people from all different walks of life with a lot of creativity to offer. And there's no end to that, right? So it's always fun to connect with everybody like this. The attendant was right. There's nothing around here that's actually worth 
spending time at. No cafes, no restaurants. Um, but I did run into something quite fun uh, from my childhood years. You know, even though I was born and raised in Turkey, I still had access to MTV growing up. And one of the shows that I frequently watched was uh, Pimp My Ride with Exhibit and West Coast Customs. Um, and I don't know if that's their headquarters right over there, but I saw that massive sign on the building. Um, so I, I got quite excited. It reminded me of the good old days of the MTV shows. Um, they would pimp out all these crazy cars. And then down the line, I actually learned that they would strip away some of the things on the cars that they actually installed after the show. Much later. Okay, so just got a text saying that my vehicle is ready. It took them about an hour or so, so let's go check it out. Obviously it's on the house because it's a recall, but I hope they didn't actually need to play around with anything or fix anything because it looks intact. Well, let's go ahead and pick up the car and then we'll continue our day. Alright, now that we picked a car from Kia Service in downtown Los Angeles, it looks like with this gloomy weather, it's going to be an errand type of day. So the next stop we have on our list is going to be Healthy Spot. But before we go to Healthy Spot or Target, I actually want to get this car washed. Just a quick wash. The other day while I was driving in Santa Monica, I must have passed through something where they were spraying something other than water. Because the entire car had all these like nasty spots on them that kind of looked like water droplets, but they're not, and they hardened. So I have this disgusting texture on the windows of my car, and probably on the car itself, that I want to get washed off. Um, so let's go ahead and get this car washed, and then we'll stop by Healthy Spot, then we'll stop by Target, and run all the errands on this nasty day here in Los Angeles. came by over to the car wash area and dropped the car off. I'm hoping that whatever those droplets are that they'll be able to remove with just a basic car wash, the exterior. So fingers crossed, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna pay it now. And then from that point on, we're gonna go to Healthy Spot and Target. received the car from the wash and it looks like the sap like material actually came off so I'm very very pleased about it but I am annoyed at one thing that the car wash couldn't even take off and this is from Kia when they marked my car there's this little white dot over there that is very annoying even the car wash people couldn't take it off um, so I'm gonna try alternate methods um, but yeah the guy came in with a marker and started putting in the code when I was at the service center and then I guess they tried erasing it and left that little mark and then the car wash people couldn't erase it either. So it's on me to see if I can do that. But that's the only annoying thing right now on this car. All right, let's go to our next destination, Healthy Spot. I just got out of Healthy Spot, grabbed a few snacks and treats for my dog. She really loves these, no hide, hide bones. Um, she also likes the bully sticks. Uh, don't even get me started why these are called bully sticks. The day I found out about it, I was mind blown. Um, and then she really enjoys these treats from Healthy Spot. They actually have the duck version of this, the lamb, the beef. Uh, and the salmon version of it, but they were running very low on supplies over there. They told me that they're gonna actually restock sometime next week, so I better actually go take a look at it to restock at our house. Um, but I'm sure she's gonna be stoked about these. She loves especially the no hide, hide bones and the bully stick. Um, and that usually lasts her about a day or two. Um, but if she's really at it, it's gone like this in like 40 minutes. All right, so we're gonna hit up our next stop and the last stop on our agenda today, and that's Target. We're gonna just get some supplies for the household that we've been missing. And after that, 
we're done. We're going to go back home. So let's go hit up Target. Okay, folks, we just finished our Target errand as well and bought the supplies that I was missing in the household. Here's an interesting tip before we end this video. Whenever you're at Target, be on the lookout for the promos that they put on the shelves next to the products. Always take a photo of the promo itself and get a close-up of the barcode there as well. Each of the promos actually have respective barcodes because guess what? Whenever you go out to check out, the cashier there doesn't know that there's a promo running on those specific products. So by showing the photo of it, you can actually help them out and inform them as quickly as possible because they're always going to go back and check the shelf there just to make sure that it's valid. But it also helps them greatly to be able to scan the barcode on the sign as well and truly understand the scope of that promotion. Other than that, folks, thank you so much for tuning in yet on another episode with me, this time running errands across Los Angeles, hitting up the Kia service section, going to get my car washed, hitting up Healthy Spot, and then, of course, hitting Target up with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, this was a boring video on a very dull, boring day here in Los Angeles. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to be sharing much more amazing videos with you, so stick around. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and throw a comment or two. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.